Hello and welcome back to Fur Fighters. I hope to god this works now because I've been trying to get it to work for like the last half an hour. I have no idea why Fraps has to be a pain in the butt sometimes. Like, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this. We're in the Rumpus Room in Dinosopolis. Now, um, if you, uh, last time I finished Cape Canado, this time we're going to try and get this bear dead. That's a good start. Right. Now I'm in an area where I'm not being bothered. Okay. Oh, great. So, I have a few things to update you on. Uh, nothing bad. Nothing drastic. Just want to make a few things clear about what I said last time. Um... Because uh, I have had some uh, some people like tell me that I didn't make things quite clear um, about finding Dinotopolis. Now I said that if you didn't excavate it in uh, Beaver Dam place, that you wouldn't be able to go here. And some people kind of took that as you wouldn't be able to come here at all. That's wrong. Uh, you can still just go back to Beaver Power and excavate it if you have missed it. If you've been following along with this video, you wouldn't have missed it anyway. But for those who maybe, I don't know, have, have just like glancing through, you can still go to that place if you go to the right. Uh, if you go to the place now and excavate it, you can go do that. That is a thing. Uh, also, in Fur Fighter Village, um, I mentioned that there was no like counter like there is here when I'm collecting these it just counted up to 10 so there's no counter for the tokens in Fur Fighter Village okay let me remedy something there uh, if I go to the game info and I go all the way over to uh, this one so there are 2110 gold tokens in the entire game and 124 babies in the entire game so basically once you know that you've got all of the tokens in all of the levels uh, that will only leave hub worlds for you to get tokens and they're never hidden anywhere crazy like these ones They usually are just are out in the open So hopefully we should be able to get to all of them before uh, all of the tokens in this uh, playthrough that I'm doing um, So Fingers crossed. I hope to that is my aim at least and that is a lot of chameleons I can hear. Uh, luckily I know where they are and it's in a very unpleasant place that we don't get to for a little while. So taking in the surroundings while I'm at it. Um, giant like fish tank and bookshelves. Uh, yeah, th this place is just so cool. I, I, I really do love Dinotopolis. It's so good. Uh, one other thing I do want to address about Fair Fighter Village. If you remember last episode... Um, one of the Rico babies discovered me and asked if I wanted to play Snake. Uh, I have in the past episodes shown off some of the minigames. Uh, I won't be showing all of them off purely because they really do serve no purpose. They are just a minigame. However, uh, if you do beat the high score... Wait, have you got a swallow somewhere for her to climb? Why else would you get her? I guess not. Uh, if you do beat the high score or you do something in a certain time limit or so on, like if you beat a certain criteria during those mini games, I know f I know you can unlock cheats. Now for some reason my game is bugged and I can't unlock those cheats. Like I I do what I is necessary to unlock them, but I can't do that in this game for some reason. I don't know why. No idea why. Okay, so, progressing onwards. This box is about to be very nasty. And that'll teach them. I'm glad I remembered that. Yeah. Oh no. Alright. So yeah, everything seems to be working fine. So, I'm happy to, to crack on with the Rumpus Room. Uh, rumpus Room, for those who don't know what a Rumpus Room is, it's just a games room, basically. Oh, quack. There's one. Ah. There's two. See? Sometimes it pays not to use... Go, 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 go. Boom. Go, boom. God damn. Sometimes it pays not to use this thing. I mean, it's fun. 
because it's just like if it hits them, oh, like, if it hits them, it's guaranteed death. It's just funny. I don't feel. I feel I don't use those enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can only get up there as bungalow. So I honestly don't know why they give you Julia in that room. Okay. So don't do what I did. I've basically not been paying much attention on what I've been doing and running off of muscle memory while talking to you. Don't do that. Try and pay attention to the game, because I know you will be when you're playing. You need a uh, bungalow to get up those stairs. So I believe this little room's done with for now. You can get up on there. That is a pool table. Um, and you have to basically fall into one of the pockets to collect your tweak baby. So I'm not ignoring it. I just can't reach it right now. And as you can see, there are a grand total of 10 babies on this level. So there's a lot to do, a lot to get through. And it's a lot of fun too. Uh, giant couch. I hear that thing has seen me. Skip it, polar bear. I also don't know where they are. Oh, there you go. There's one. And that giant video game in the background. Ah! God, they do put enemies all over the place in this, don't they? Ooh. Sheesh. I don't know if I need you yet. So I'm going to hold off on that. Hang on. Let me look around. Is the scratches anywhere? No. So I'm going to actually do this one as Bungalow. This right here is the start Sergeant Sternhauser thing. And he's currently playing Fighting Furs. Yeah. And you have to jump on these. Uh, you can, when you jump on them, you do stuff in the game. So it's kind of awesome. You are doing well, fur fighter. But constant vigilance is the only path to physical perfection. Okay, down, right, up, left. Okay, that's easy enough. Down, right, up, left. I love this one out of the most. Okay, so left, right, up, down. Left, right, up. I'm so glad you don't actually have to remember the previous one as well. Right, left, right, up, down. So right, left, right, up, down. That's what I like to see. Dynamic. Dynamic. Down, right, down, left. Up, down, right, down, left, up, the burn, yes, left, up, right, up, down, up, oh god, no, so it's left, up, right, up, down, up, right, you did it. Oh, whoa! I am stunned I remembered that. And he beat the cartridge to all hell, which you need to do because there are four tokens here. Well done on destroying a classic there. Okay, so any back here? Uh, nope, just ammo. So, if you're wondering why everything is so big, uh, this place is meant for dinosaurs. The clue is in the name. I don't know. If, I don't know if you've actually seen any yet. So we are in a dinosaur's home at the moment. You do see one in one of the other levels later on, so we will we will get to them. They do exist. Uh, okay. Okay, before I do this, I should actually show you what I'm doing. This is a jukebox. I have a I have a baby inside the jukebox, so I need to go in and fetch them. And remember, this is a again a dinosaur jukebox. But for some reason, it plays the same track that you got from New Quack City. Uh, some time ago, actually, now. It's the first level. Um, okay, don't think I can reach up there. No. I have to basically, with that, I think I have to wait until one of the discs hit. Wow. I have to wait until one of the discs is a flat surface for me to jump up. And then you can get up there. I always just cheesed this when I was younger. Can you hurry up, please? I don't have all day. Thank you very much. Okay. So it comes back round, and it 
should create a flat surface for you to jump on, on, on one side. Uh, I mean, yes, technically, but that didn't really help. Can, I mean, that didn't really help. Could you, could you please do something that's helpful? Please. Don't know if I can actually jump from there. No. Okay. I mean, I don't like the idea of standing on a vinyl, but I don't, you can't actually read what they say, so they don't actually have a specific name. Would have been cool, but I guess the textures are... Okay. There we go. There we go. There, there, oh, where the hell am I? I'm just floating. I am literally just floating. And I am stuck. Until this thing moves again, I can't move. Okay, one sec. Well, that was fun. So, yeah, that kills you. Wait, why does it put me back here? Oh, because I stayed as Bungalow. That's why. Jeez. Alright. Now I'm back in here. I hope this works, because this, this jukebox is super infuriating. So, okay, so that got me up there. Then I believe the arm comes down, and that's how you jump on that. And that will then take me up there, which can flatten you if you're not quick enough. But we got Essie. One baby of nine in the rumpus room. Eh. Uh, there is a secret to the rumpus room as well, which I will tell you very shortly. Um, I'm going to stay as Bungalow for now because I do believe you need to get up places. I'm going to also use this because I I neglect a lot of my weaponry. <laughs> eh. I want to do the stuff up here first as it'll be easier. So jumping up a stack of books because that's freaking awesome. Eh. Okay. So we've got a giant pinball machine and a giant train set. Just just so good. Right, this machine here, you can 100% legit play this with Tweak. Uh, you basically just need to jump on the bomb button and bomb these buildings. Uh, you go from round to round, and I think it, once you get to a certain round or beat a certain score, you do unlock a cheat. Again, I, will, I, probably, I won't be showing that off because... There really isn't any point if I can't uh, unlock the cheats, but that is a thing you can genuinely do. There might be someone on YouTube somewhere that has done that, because their game hasn't actually glitched, which is annoying that mine has. There are some really angry bears somewhere that are after my blood. Now I do hear, I do hear the bungalow baby, but as far as I'm aware there is another bungalow on here. Which I would prefer, because if I do die, and you can die on this fairly easily, because the trains will kill you, um, I would like to spawn here, rather than all the way back in the previous room. Considering everything is so big, it does rely heavily on uh, Bungalow. Like, really heavily. I have yet to see him, though. But I really do, like I said, I really do love Dinotopolis. Second favourite place in the entire game. I think that's how we enter the pinball machine, actually. Well, considering I haven't seen Bungalow here... Okay, we'll do this. We'll go in here and do this. We'll go in here, we'll do this. Uh, this is also an almost instant death room. If a ball hits you, you're dead. So you've got to be careful. Uh, you do have to hit the buttons. Uh, hitting the buttons is like when, if you was playing the actual game, um, you would have to hit these buttons. I believe they unlock, yeah, they unlock v Vigo's mouth for you to take the baby, which is Daniel. And there is... <laughs> I only just touched that. I only just touched that. I think there is another way out of that. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there is. I'm just going to double check. 
but I only just slightly touched that, and that ball was stationary. That ball wasn't moving. So, you see how dangerous they are? If they're going full speed, you are pretty much just as just as, uh, as much dead as if they weren't. So you gotta be careful. So yeah, is there is there another way out? Okay, you can't go in his mouth. Um, I, no, I don't think there is actually, because that's the part where they launch. That's the spring for launching the ball, and then yeah, I don't think there is another way out. Although I would love this pinball machine, I really would. Oh no, oh yeah, this is the same same area as before. Okay, so that's the pinball machine. Uh, this place is huge. This might be a full three videos of this one area. Which I guess is a good reason I picked this one beforehand. Okay, so now I need to find Bungalow in this room somewhere. Otherwise I have to go all the way back to the previous room, grab him, and then just bring him here, I guess. You do need him up here. Absolutely need him up here. Now you can ride the trains to get those tokens, or you can just kind of mess around and glitch it out with Tweak. Alright, I'm going to have to go down the long way. Yeah. Onto the magazines. Oh, there's a bear that wanted my freaking skin. That was more than enough. Ah! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Lucifer's balls. No, no. Oh, hello. Everything in this room wants me dead. Oh, it's a little dragon. The cows are a little dragon. Okay, you can just go go to hell. Thank you. He just stopped running. He gave up. He knew he was dead. It's like, what? why? Why do I need to run? So I'd say, Ankylosaurus wax. Carapace polish. Oh, nice. And this is Scuff Devil. Uh... I can't really read that, but if you can, well done. Oh! Okay, this one. Yeah, die! Die, 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 die! Die! Anything back here worth of note? <sighs> no, just ammunition. So there is a lot of areas in this place that are just pointless to go to, like you really, there's no need to. I mean, you can if you want to explore. Go ahead. That's what this game's about. Glow Claw. Yay. Now I do know that there's going to be some annoying wimp, uh, peacock ducks up there. Okay. Death to all you people in here. Dodging those bombs. just automatically aiming up even though I'm not looking at them it just knows where to fire oh I killed a bear didn't realize that's nice okay oh who's this this Chang again I don't know why they're giving us Chang it's very peculiar eh Oh, you're all dead. Nice. Yeah, okay. did I miss a token then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotta go behind the beer. Oh, that's probably why we need Chang. I remember now, you gotta go in this tiny mouse hole thing. I believe. I can hear one of his babies, so I believe there's one in there. So you do need to go and fetch. You do need to bring Bungalow in from the previous room. So I'm gonna go fetch him, and then we're gonna go back onto the train set before I go any further. Oh, no. Wait. There he is. We found him. We did it together, people. Right, we'll go up on the train set and get those tokens. And I believe there's a baby as well of his. Now, at least if I die, I respawn there. Which isn't too far away. There wasn't, there wasn't anything on the top of this. I think I went up there. Now, considering these levels are huge, you can probably imagine it is very easy to miss tokens. 
Uh, they're, a, they're a lot bigger than your average levels, uh, usually. So th there's more places to hide things. Okay, I need to go up there first. Uh, I, I think I just need to pick a train to go to. Or, yeah, okay, I can jump high enough. Oh no, that's going to kill me if I don't move. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to be hit by a train. Wow, almost got hit by a train. Focus. Okay, I need to get back up the top there. Can I hit... Can I get these? With, oh, I can probably jump from there and get them. So you don't actually need to ride all of the trains. You can if you want, but I don't actually remember where they take you. Some of them take you to literally nowhere of use. One of them you do need to go on because it will take you to one of your babies. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Whoa, hello. Um, okay, there's some up there. Let's go do those. And then we also need to get those. Uh, jump! 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 I got the one, other one previously. Eee! Alright, I need to see where that train goes then. This one goes there. Maybe I can reach it? Oh, nope, and I'm, I'm lucky I wasn't pancaked. Okay, then it goes... Okay, I can get to here. Okay, so I can get the train from here. Got it! Right, so I can just grab these and then head on that train. Yeah. Alright. So it should be back any second. Come on. Come on, train. I see it. All right, here we go. Two Hogwarts. I wonder what house I'll get put in. Probably Hufflepuff. He is a friendly, friendly person. In his bungalow. Wouldn't imagine him be a Slytherin. Yeah. Although there's a lot of snakes in Australia, and he is Australian, so that could work. Okay, I believe that was all the tokens there. Alright, so I need the train that goes under here. Uh, which one is that? I don't think it's the green one. I, ju I actually genuinely think it's that one. Okay, so that's coming over there. Okay, I can get to that. There we go. Okay. So I should... Ah! Oh great, I forgot it goes under a whole load of bridges. Yeah, you have to get it while it snakes. That is so annoying. Wow. Okay, can, how many can I get doing this? One! Uh, maybe I can get more than just the one though. Eh, eh. Leap! Two! Nice, I don't have to wait for them. Ah! That was close! Oh boy! Now, they don't instantly kill you like the, the, the uh, pinball balls do. But they can drag you underneath. Okay, so I've done those. Uh, any th in this little hamlet of passing through? No. Can I go through here, please? Thank you! Okay, so that green, that green um, train is the one I need to take me to my my little one. I believe it is anyway. Okay. Can I go up there, please? I want to go up there, please. No, please. One moment. I'm gonna go over there now. Do I need to get on there from another train? I don't think any of them go nearby. Oh, maybe you need to jump on. I get it. Oh, great. I get it. You probably need to jump on it from that train. Yes, and you jump on there to get up. All right, got it. Got it. All right, let's just wait for that to go round there. Okay. Choo choo. Choo choo. Ah, okay, so here we are. Ooh. 
Why? Why? The momentum and bumpiness of that thing is so irritating sometimes. New, new, new. Really?